Have you ever considered running a large language model like DeepSeek locally on your own hardware? The advantages of local deployment are significant. First of all, there's enhanced data privacy. Your information remains entirely under your control with no third-party data transmission. There's performance efficiency as well. Local models can reduce latency, offering faster response times without dependency on external servers. And the best advantage is the fact that you get unlimited access. You can eliminate the constraints of API call limits and paywalls commonly associated with cloud models. One model gaining attention is DeepSeek, which has taken the AI industry completely by surprise, so much so that it actually affected the share price of many US tech stocks. Developed by a small Chinese company, the DeepSeek R1 model is reportedly trained at a fraction of the cost compared to its competitors like Google, OpenAI, and Meta. Now, this makes it an attractive option for individuals who can access this powerful AI system for free, as well as for developers offering substantial cost savings when deploying its APIs. However, some governments have already raised concerns and implemented restrictions on the use of DeepSeek. Due to security issues, particularly regarding potential data access by the Chinese government, in fact, countries such as Italy, Taiwan, Australia, South Korea, India, and the US have all taken measures to limit or ban its use, commonly in government departments, but this may extend further into the broader public as well. So if you wanna install this or any other LLM locally, I'll show you how to do so in this tutorial. The simplest way to get started is with an application called LM Studio, compatible with Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. So I'm gonna download LM Studio for Windows for this example. I'll click on the download button. You'll notice that the exe file is being downloaded in the browser. To access it, click on the downloads folder and click on the installation application. And within a matter of minutes, LM Studio should be ready to go. Just after you complete the installation, there'll be an option to install one of the latest large language models. You can click on that option there, or once you get into the application, you'll notice at the top center of the screen, there's a section where you can access all the available models to download or click in the search field and do a search for your large language model of choice. They'll appear on the left-hand column and you can go through and pick various versions of the LLMs, which have different sizes and configurations to suit various specifications of hardware. So I've installed DeepSeek R1, and I'll just do a quick test to see how that works locally on my machine. So for this example, I'll ask what the best tech stock picks are for 2025. We'll go ahead and see what it says. If you look at the answer, it seems to be quite generic providing an overview of the stock market sector, different categories, kind of encouraging you to do your own research. If I prompt it a little bit further, I can ask it specifically about AI stocks and it can give me more information there. One thing that I notice compared to ChatGPT is that DeepSeek offers a lot more information that is more generic and prompting you to do your own research whereas ChatGPT jumps right in and offers suggestions as to the companies that you can invest in right away. So as you can see, there are massive differences in each of these AI models, depending on how they're programmed and how they're set up. So it's great to have access to as many as you can for different applications and the benefits of being able to install locally on your machine can be that you have ongoing access without having to pay for additional queries. The only downside, as you can see, is that it can take a lot longer to perform a request on your local machine, especially if you don't have a powerful latest generation GPU to handle the processor intensive task that is often required when asking certain questions. If you found this walkthrough helpful, consider subscribing for more in-depth tech reviews and tutorials. Don't forget to like the video and drop any questions or experiences you've had with local LLMs in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.